Chicken Whisper. Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday evening? Good morning, oh. evening. Good morning, evening. <laughs> you you bringing the employees to get all the work done? Yeah, come on. Anyways, guys, you're gonna hear some chicken and clucking or whatever they do in the background. What do, what do the hens do? Do they cluck? Cluck. Cluck. Okay, I was yeah. making sure. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Anyways, so we've had a little bit of rain the last couple of days. Not as hard as what I was hoping for. For one specific reason, our mess that we have here in the driveway, I was kind of hoping Mother Nature would take care of it for us, but it did it. It just kind of made it a little bit wet. So mm -hmm. I went ahead and borrowed a tool from my good buddy, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. And uh, we're going to get it knocked out. TQ did order one like two weeks ago, but it still hasn't came in yet. Yeah. So we uh, borrowed Mike's because we got to get this taken care of real quick. And then we're going to hop into some more fun stuff. Uh, uh, fellow youtuber sent us something for the lawn so i'm going to show you that i don't know if we're going to get to put it in the lawn just yet but i do want to show you guys it and uh we'll maybe tackle it another day or maybe today i guess i'll have to check the lawn to see how wet it is we'll see so as most of you know chase this redid our hill going into the back parking area here at the house but we have a total mess And it goes all the way down the right side of the driveway. So, the sound effects cost a lot of money. <laughs> all right, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different style. I do these occasionally whenever I think it can help out a lot of people. And in today's video, this is gonna help you guys out as professionals. This can also help out a bunch of residential folks as well. So if you can see here, this is a case in point. We plowed a little bit of snow with gravel into the lawn here. And I wanna say, I know not everybody can go buy this system. If you wanted to buy everything here, you'd probably be in the six to $700 range, maybe even $800. But what you can do is you can go to your local dealer and you can rent a machine like this. I think even some Home Depots carry them now. So check with them, make your life a lot easier. You are gonna work, but it's way better than sitting there and just raking gravel out and picking it out by hand, so. Just that quick, you can take care of it, come through, fine tune with a rake and shovel, and you're good to go.
like a garden tiller it's gonna kick your behind okay so you just kind of let the machine do all the work use the machine to work for itself so I'll show you real quick so there you do have to push it to go forward some people do flip these over <laughs> excuse me like this and it'll throw it forward but this tends to throw it back at you as well so I don't recommend that so when you're backing up, just give it some gas and let it work for itself so you're not dragging it. because they chipped and sealed our road this year and a lot of it got piled up into the yard. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. <laughs> we'll blame that on the late night. <laughs> oh man. Late nights and two foot of snow. Exactly. Bulb. 
you need more? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, it looks good. The worst part is right here. It's pure mud. That big chunky rock don't move. Man, no it doesn't. Neither does this clay. <laughs> That's why I said it's it's what just packed. For a shovel? Yeah. yeah. So if you guys don't remember, all my shovels are on the utility trailer, which is in the shop, which I got a call from him yesterday. It should be finishing up tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, they're just waiting on the paint to cure, basically. So after that, I think he said he had one spring to put on and it would be done. So we might be able to grab that back up tomorrow, hopefully. Nice. Yes. So this is where this thing really shines, okay? On the edge of driveways where you plow or snow blow and it gets to get that gravel out into your yard. You don't want to sit there and pick every piece up. Yes, you can rake it, but this machine just makes it a lot quicker. I will say you're going to get a good workout.
kids and asking them to help out. <laughs> So here's what it looks like. I really moved some material. We had some clay tile in the ground too and I popped them up and moved them into the drive. Got it nice and cleaned up. Good job, babe. Need a muscle rub later? <laughs> no, it definitely gives you a workout, but you know, it uh, kind of just makes you want to slow down a little bit more during plowing seasons. Show them how green the grass has gotten in the last couple days. It is really green. Honestly, just like two days ago, it was brown. Yeah, it was browned out. But uh, at this point, we're probably a couple weeks out from mowing, maybe like the first week of April or so. We'll see how it keeps going. If it stays warm, it'll definitely, uh, definitely start growing. But we're kind of in a cool trend here right now, so. I like the sunshine's popping out now. Can't complain though, 50 to 50 degrees, but yeah, definitely like the sunshine. Absolutely. All right guys, so this thing's a mess now after playing in our mud. So TQ's gonna get it all nice and cleaned off from Mike. All right, Mikey, we got it as clean as we can for you. I know you're gonna get it dirty again, but we tried. All right, so I wish we would have waited just a couple hours because we started that video probably about 10, 10.30 this morning. Took about an hour to do it. Hard work, guys, no joke. I feel it in the shoulders and in the arms 100%. But uh, yeah, it absolutely got gorgeous. Towards the end of that video, as you saw the sun coming out, and now it's been out, and it's probably in the mid-50s, just absolutely gorgeous. Can't complain whatsoever. But I wanted to give you guys a few tips running that machine that I think can help you real quick. So you don't have to always run it at full RPMs if it doesn't need it. If you want to throw it a little bit farther, go ahead and give it more. 
Also, if you're going near vehicles or anything, windows, anything that could break, occasionally it'll catch one and it'll throw it a lot farther. So make sure you're careful. I was very careful. I know it was in hyperlapse, but when I was near the truck, I was probably about six foot away from that edge. But you still want to be careful because if it catches one, it's going to go flying. So you want to be safe near houses. Doors, windows are getting super, super expensive, guys. Trust me, uh, uh, you longtime subscribers, you know we've taken out a, a screen door or you know sliding glass door here or there. You know we've had our fair share. So, and back then they were four to five hundred bucks to replace. But, and I'm just talking about one panel, just to be clear there. But yeah, it's uh it's drying up quite a bit. We still need a good rain to wash it off. I did take the garden hose and spray it a little bit, but. Yeah, still needs a good, good cleaning. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.